Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna learn all about Ellen Ochoa, who was the very first Hispanic female astronaut. Let's go and learn about Ellen Ochoa. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Oh yeah, good call. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Let's go to the video. Ellen Ochoa was the first Hispanic woman astronaut. And Ellen Ochoa was also a scientist as well as an inventor. Ellen Ochoa assisted in developing several systems that use lasers to collect and process information from images. Ellen Ochoa was born on May 10th in 1958 in Los Angeles, California to Joseph and Roseanne Ochoa. Ellen Ochoa grew up in La Mesa, California near San Diego. Ellen Ochoa attended Grossmont High School which was located in El Cajon, California, where she graduated in 1975. Ellen Ochoa then graduated from San Diego State University in 1980. Ellen Ochoa studied physics as well as playing the flute when she went to college. Ellen Ochoa stuck with both her music and her science studies after graduating college. Hey, guess what? Did you know that Ellen Ochoa won an award because she is such an accomplished flute player? Even though she is such a fantastic flute player, she went on to study physics instead. Physics is the study of how matter and energy affect each other. Ellen Ochoa earned her master's and doctorate degrees from Stanford University. This made her now Dr. Ellen Cho. Doctor? Wow. And even though she's a doctor, she isn't the kind of doctor you see if you're sick. Ellen Ochoa's doctorate is in electrical engineering. When she was in graduate school, Ellen Ochoa focused on optics. No pun intended. Optics is the study of how light behaves. Some of her works in optics have received worldwide recognition. Wow. Ellen Ochoa also helped figure out how sound can be removed from images. And this is an application used all the time in current space exploration. Due to her research, Ellen Ochoa's work has been documented in journals and scientific papers across the globe. Ellen Ochoa has been awarded in the field of optics due to her findings. Ellen Ochoa continued her work at Sandia National Laboratories in New Mexico. Then, she worked designing computer systems at the Ames Research Center. And just in case you're wondering, Ames is associated with NASA. Ellen Ochoa applied to be an astronaut three times before she was finally accepted in the year 1990. Ellen Ochoa became an astronaut in the year 1991, and some of her jobs were checking flight robotics, software, as well as hardware. In 1993, Ochoa made her first trip into space on a nine-day exploration mission. Ellen flew aboard the shuttle Discovery, and this space mission took nine days. The shuttle's mission was to study the effects of solar activity on Earth's atmosphere. And during the study, Ellen Ochoa used the shuttle's robotic arm to release a research satellite. Ellen Ochoa's next space flight was on the space shuttle Atlantis in 1994. But this time, Ellen Ochoa used the robotic arm to recover a research satellite. Then, in 1999, Ellen Ochoa took part in Discovery's mission to the International Space Station, otherwise known as 
ISS. On her final mission, Ellen Ochoa returned to the ISS on Atlantis in the year 2002. Ellen Ochoa spent almost 1,000 hours in space on four different missions. And Ellen Ochoa continued to work for science agencies after her career as an astronaut. In 2007, after retiring as an astronaut, she became the deputy director at Johnson Space Center. She was the second woman ever to head that division between the years of 2012 and 2018. Later, Ellen Ochoa was the chair of the National Science Board. Ellen spoke to groups of students of all ages about her experience as an astronaut many times. As of 2021, she heads the National Service Board as its chair. Due to her achievements in space exploration, schools have been named after her in Texas, California, and even Washington, D.C. Ellen Ochoa was also inducted into the National Academy of Investors. Ellen Ochoa received many medals. One was for exceptional service in the year 1997 and an outstanding leadership medal in the year 1995. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about Ellen Ochoa. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.